These are the best Apex Legends to choose in 2023. Let me show you why. First, let me give you my reasons for choosing these champions. That way you can choose if this is the video you've been looking for. I typically play solo queue competitively just due to the time constraints. I tend to rely on my own skill, aim, and game sense. I don't focus on blaming my teammates. I focus on what I can do better in those three categories to help win the game. Most of the time, it does depend on picking one of these champions to help carry the win. By the way, in the comments below, if these are one of your favorite three champs, let me know. The first one has got to be Bangalore. Bangalore is one of the original champions and one of the easiest ones to play and the safest. First, her passive, Double Time. If Bangalore receives damage while sprinting, she'll get a small boost of movement speed, allowing you to take cover quickly. Her tactical smoke launcher gives you two reloadable charges that will allow you to smoke to either close the gap between your enemies or to take cover and heal. And last, Rolling Thunder, her ultimate. This calls an artillery strike that slows, stuns, and damages the enemy. This again is a great way to initiate a fight or retreat to cover. And last but not least, we can't forget the digital threat. When you're, when you're able to pick this up, you allow yourself a huge advantage late game and smoke fights. This is why she's so great at being passive and aggressive at the same time. The reason that Bangalore makes it off this list is because she is one of the easiest champions to learn. She is well balanced, has great movement, and provides versatility for your team. If your teammate makes a great shot, you utilize her smokes to close the distance. When your teammates is downed, smoke it out and pick them up. Again, if you're a new player, tell me where you would rank Bangalore on your list. I really want to focus this channel on helping others improve to reach the rank or goals they have in Apex Legends. I'll be ecstatic for you to like and subscribe to this video and let me know in the comments below what is the biggest challenge for you to overcome. Next on the list we have Horizon. I know many new players are quite intimidated to play Horizon, but this is nothing an hour in the firing range won't fix. Let's go over her kit first. Her passive spacewalk has increased air control and reduces fallen backs. This means there's no dead stop on falling, so it's always easy to slide and get that extra momentum. She also has increased movement and smooth animations while running and sliding. Her tactical gravity lift allows you to take flight for 10 seconds. You'll want to make sure you get straight back and forth if you're being shot at to effectively dodge bullets to get high ground. With a recent nerf while shooting from it, it effectively has more hip firepower than AR. So you'll want to stick to the SMG like a car, Prowler, or R99. One of the more overpowered strategies when taking coverage is to throw out your gravity lift and peak versus entering the lift. This enemy will predict you taking it and you'll get advantage in the fight. Her ultimate black hole deploys a newt mini black hole that pulls players towards it for 12 seconds. This has 175 HP and can be destroyed. High level players will always stop to shoot this, so you'll need some strategy when throwing thermites and arc starts towards the center. Your strategy will always be to throw a thermite or arc star towards the direction they will be pulled from if they decide not to shoot it for the maximum amount of damage. Catch a team off guard or land a perfect ultimate is game changing and momentum changing. The ultimate also can break doors, so don't hesitate to throw it in front of a door to get them sucked through it. Although Horizon has a nerf to her recoil and her gravity lift, she still has incredible potential in late game and third parties. Her kit is very beneficial with all classes in the game, and while learning her can be challenging at first, it's the most rewarding when perfected. So don't let this legend be intimidating stop you from practicing and learning. One of the more enjoyable ones in the game. The last one to add to the list here is Bloodhound. I started playing in Season 9 and played this legend the entire season solo queue. I've learned how to play this legend to the highest level possible. Let me tell you why. First, let's cover his kit. To explain more about his passive, let's head right into his tactical. The tactical is Eye of the Allfather. This is a tactical scan that will briefly reveal hidden enemies, traps, and clues throughout structures in front of you. This is great for getting knowledge of while rotating, entering buildings, or finding new zones. Bloodhound's passive is Tracker, and this can be used two ways. One, white ravens will appear and make a sound around you. These can be pinged on the minimap, and when you scan these white ravens, they will create a marker on the minimap locating the closest enemies. If you use your tactical on the white raven, the cooldown on your ultimate is reduced by 25% and reduces your tactical scan. Be sure to always pay attention in the starting zones, as you can charge your ultimate in less than one minute. His ultimate, Beast of the Hunt, enhances your movement speed by 30% and allows thermal vision, which is essentially a digi threat feel while activated. During his ultimate, you have incredible speed and you know where the enemy is, so you can make a whole lot more plays while rotating as you can scan and know exactly where their angle is. The reason this legend makes a top 3 to learn is the amount of individual plays you can make on your own. The reason Bloodhound makes top of the list to learn how to play is his individual play style marked with team play. He can scan beacons to allow your team better map rotation, he can keep consistent knowledge of where enemies are with his white raven, as long as you have quality sound, it's really hard to sneak up on a Bloodhound. Anytime I'm playing with a new or novice player, I always select Bloodhound to keep my team's awareness high. I want to make sure they learn the right way. I want to make sure they improve. So making sure I know where all the enemies are at all times is very pivotal. I hope this video brought you some more knowledge about some of the best legends to play in 2023 to improve your gameplay. While all legends are viable in the current meta, these stand out to me as legends that really help you improve. 
I greatly appreciate you taking the time to watch this video and it will mean the world for me if you either subscribe for future tips or hit that like and share button as this will only continue to motivate me more to drop these tips and tricks to help you improve. Thanks again.